We've just recently got back from Barcelona after a lightning day out with Triumph riding their new naked sporty roadster, the Street Triple 765. This bike aims to redefine the class. It's using an engine that's set to power the next generation of Moto2 race bikes after 2018. There's a super grunty new engine. We've got ride by wire fuel injection, updated frame and swing arm, top spec chassis jewelry everywhere you look. And there's a slew of electronic aids there as well, all present and correct. And they're ready to build on the base of an already strong bike. I mean, the street triple we have at the moment is a really really good machine. We set out from the Triumph Launch Hotel on a cool damp 8 degree Spanish morning. That wouldn't have been a problem if we hadn't been riding the RS because it's got flash Pirelli Super Corsa SP tyres on it. Now they're a fabulous option if you're out on a hot dry track day but they're not working well this morning as we ride at the hotel. We would have been much better off with a more road biased tyre in these conditions. The engine I'm paying a lot of attention to the engine at the moment and the signs are excellent. It feels more like a big bike engine, you know, it's closer to maybe the, the 1050 speed triple than the old street triple was, that, that was very much a, a middleweight machine. This feels much stronger. That extra grunt over a 600 class machine, it shows, it really shows when you get off the mountain back roads and onto some faster, more sweeping roads. Give the new ride by wire throttle a big handful of sitting gear and you lift the front wheel easily, you know, even at motorway speeds. That's a trick that's not easy on, on a less beefy engine. The fueling's crisp and clean, a little bit abrupt if you're in the top power track modes around town, but you'd expect that, I think. The intake roar is hard edge, raw, super satisfying. Combine it with the quick shifter that's standard on the RS, that is an option in the other bikes, and you get the ingredients for a really beguiling soundtrack as you batter down the road. After the engine, the electronics is the next thing. At the heart of things, you've got a new colour LCD dash. Excellent, really, really good top-notch setup. You know, they've spent some money here. You get that on the RS and the R version. If you buy the cheaper S version, you get a more basic LCD monoc monochrome screen. Combined with the new switch gear, which has got a five-way joystick on the left and sort of special buttons to, to go through all the menus, you can scroll through all the options and settings really quickly. There's a tiny bit of nannying going on. You, you can't turn off the traction control or the ABS while you're on the move and if you do turn them off you know the, the, it resets them every time you switch the bike off so you know that, that's a bit of a shame if you want traction control going down twisty bits of a road and then you want to do some big wheelies down the street you're going to have to stop in between or you know to take the risk on, on, on the bends the new street triple steers quickly enough quite a precise stable front end it feels like and the chassis engineer tells us later on that the, the more powerful engine means they needed to relax the steering geometry a little just to, to give a bit more fundamental stability to the layer just from that extra torque and that extra power going through the frame. The suspension's spot on too. The RS is, is the, the, the sort of highest level of suspension on all the new street triples. You can show a big piston forks up front and an Olin single tube rear monoshock and, and that's that's about the, the highest level you'll expect from this class of bike. This motor's got a fab mix of low down drive out of the slower corners, and it's got a screaming top end pull down the big long straight. The chassis is just as capable around here as well. Those Brembo M50s are in their element now, you know, hollies hauling you down from top speed on the straight, lots and lots of power. Round big fast sweeping turns three and four, the whole chassis is super stable. You can place yourself right where you want to be. And that's just improved the behavior under power. It gives better grip as the suspension loads up and the back end squats down, it just digs in and goes. I'm really happy though, the, the little Triumph has just been brilliant on track and it's packed with potential I would say. As we pull out the pit lane, big fat angry drops of rain land on the visor and they keep falling. The super cross of tyres are useless in these conditions, it's cold, the standing water, just no grip at all, at all on the brakes or on the power, you know, it's, it's, it's locking up everywhere. It's fair to say I'm quite impressed with the new 765 Street. Trans kept a lot of the character and styling of the old bike, but it's just cranked up all the good stuff at the same time. That engine's a corker, and I can't wait to see what it's like in a Moto2 chassis, you know, those guys have got a treat waiting for them. Lighter, a more precise choice than the sort of 200 horsepower plus litre blasters of the world, but much stronger and gruntier than a, a conventional 600 Super Sports class twin. The new chassis is an excellent match for the engine as well, there's just great inherent handling, and you've got top level running gear on there on that RS. Finally, the electronics, well executed, they've given you enough control to die on what you want, still giving you all the safety nets that, that people want as well nowadays. And it's, well, it's a well priced bike as well, under 10 grand for this top spec RS version is impressive stuff. And with the basic S coming in at 2k less, Triumph really played a blinder here. 
criticisms, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm being picky here, but I'd have liked to see an auto blipping downshifter added in there, even as an option, you know, that people would pay a couple hundred quid extra for that. Stuff like cruise control, stuff like that, Ride by Wire makes all these things easy to implement for, 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 for an engineer now, and I just think it's a shame that they've not put that next level of stuff in. This is all small stuff though, you know, super picky. The new Street Trip is a very, very good bike indeed. And if you're in the market for a sporty, well-appointed naked roadster, you've got to go and give it a test drive, guaranteed, definitely.